Diving is uh, a different uh, nut to crack as far as pictures. There aren't as many good uh, spots to shoot from. The background is really important to try and get something where you have a clean background and not, you know, spectators. You really have to work at making a decent diving picture, especially the synchronized diving. The synchronized diving is really difficult because obviously they're both spinning at the same time and you both got to keep them in the frame. And um, it's a tough sport to shoot. It really is. It's probably one of the toughest I've done. The 4x100 race uh, was probably the most exciting race I've ever been associated with. The comeback by the Americans was not something I expected when I looked down in the pool on the last leg and saw that the American was probably almost a length behind the uh, French swimmer and the place was just so loud you could barely hear. And then the look on Michael Phelps's face when he realized they had won and not only won but won the world record. He first reacted toward President Bush and uh, then turned towards the uh, American fans on the other side and all of his teammates and uh, pictures from that race were uh, phenomenal. I mean, I was, you know, really honored to be there and uh, just great to be a part of it. President Bush arrived uh, and uh, kind of squinted a little bit and then waved and then, so I waved back. Well, I see him quite often at the White House. I cover the White House uh, almost daily and I'm sure it uh, probably took him by surprise at first to see me sitting over there, not across from him in the Oval Office, but across from him in the swimming pool. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's a great, great uh, time. I'm amazed at the world records that are being broken and I'm sure they'll continue the rest of the week. This is Doug Mills, photographer with the New York Times.